Hey guys, and today, today I'm going to be showing you how to record your Android screen. So a lot of people have been asking me how I do it, and I've made videos on this before, but, you know, I've had other channels considering, or knowing that my channels have been taken down, taken down, so I need to make one for this channel too. So the problem here is that you do need to be rooted, so if you're not rooted, honestly, I'm sorry, but there's not a whole lot I can do. Um... This is what you're going to need to do because rooting on different devices is, or yeah, rooting on different devices is always going to be a, you know, different method of rooting because not all devices are the same, obviously, and that's why I can't do it because, you know, the way I root even my Nexus 7 and my Samsung Galaxy Exhilarate, those are completely different, you know, I can't use the same exact method to root both of them, so what you're going to need to do is just go and search, you know, what I would search is Nexus 7 2013 root, or if I was using my phone, I'd look up Samsung Samsung Galaxy Exhilarate root. That's all you gotta do is look up how to root it. Just know your you know uh, manufacturer and the name of your phone, and you'll be good to go. So at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna be talking about something that I've been considering doing, and a tech channel is what it is. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about a tech channel, wait till the end of the video. <laughs> so Yes, back to what back to what I was supposed to be doing. How to record your Android screen? So it's actually pretty easy, and you know there's a ton of recorders out there. You know, Screencast, SCR, um, uh, ASC Screen Recorder, things like that. Screencast sucks. ASC sucks. A SCR does a, does a good job when it works, but it doesn't work too often. That's <laughs> that's the reality with Android screen recording. But I finally found one that just nails it every single time, and it works with every single Android version. The only one that works with KitKat that I know of, SCR says it works with KitKat, but I call bull on that one. So, what I use is Shou. S-H-O-U. There's an APK in the description because it is not on the Play Store, so it's not, you know, copyright or anything. And... That's why I'm putting it in the description, but if it's a paid app, I won't do that anymore. But since it's a free app, it's, it, can, it can go in the description. So what you're going to need to do, I'm going to go show you how to set it up and everything. So go here and open Shao after you've installed the APK, of course. Open Shao like that. So at the top left here, you can just click and see how the side comes out like that. You can do mirroring. You can see screencasts are your recordings. You can do screenshots with it. That one's probably porn. Settings. This is where we're going to look. We're going to look in settings. So you need to set up your audio. Let's click on audio. Change your audio source. If you're going to be doing videos like me, you're going to want to change your audio source to mic. Make sure your channels is on stereo. Sample rate. Rate. <laughs> rape? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, sample rate. Put that as high as you can. And bit rate. Put that between 128 and 192. Default is like 64, 24, and it sounds terrible. So if you see lag with 192, try 128, and that's probably one. Uh, whoops, 128 is what you're gonna want to be on lowest. So going over here, output format, save it wherever wherever you want. I always use MP4. Source engine, there's. You know, obviously, have some people who can't use all of these options. I have Phantom, Memory, GPU, and Null. So, Phantom is the one you're going to want to use if, like, number one. If you don't have Phantom, go to GPU. If you don't have GPU, go to Memory. If you don't have Memory, go to Null. Null is the worst. Phantom is pretty cool, though. Encoding Engine, use hardware. Software is pretty slow orientation if you're going to be holding it sideways auto is the best honestly because it automatically changed like when I open Minecraft it automatically rotates the screen so that's a, that one's the best one to go with resolution for some reason mine's at 720p instead of 1080 that is weird I'm not going to change it while I'm recording I'll probably screw it up all right this is one that will kill frames though so if you have a phone and you that's you know not that great and you put it at 1080p it's going Put it at 720p, 
you're gonna see a lot less lag. Might still see, might still, you know, see it there. 640p, still not bad quality. A lot less lag. 480, 480 is the lowest I would go. If you're really seeing lag and you, you know, really desperate to record, you can go down to 320 or 240, but it's gonna look pretty bad. Frame rate, don't go with, don't go with 12. Just go to 30. Never go with 12. 12 is laggy. It sucks. 30 is what you want. Bit rate, 16, uh, 16 megabits per second, or megabytes per second, or whatever it is. Go with that. And if you want to show touches, now you can see on my screen that I have that little touch thing there. You can use that if you want. If you have screwed up colors, you can do it. go with that. But I never use this last two. So that's all you got to do to set it up. You can do oops, you can do screenshot if you want. And all you have to do is pull down your notification center. Actually, you have to go back to that, the main home screen. Then you click on the little center button, and then it should say check status bar to record screen. Pull down your status bar and hit the little play button. It'll start recording right away. And then it'll save it in the folder movies. Then you open up the folder movies, and you go to show, and it'll be saved in there. And the movies folder is on your SD card. Not your external, but your internal SD card. It's it's confusing. But if you use something like ES File Explorer and you open it up, it'll automatically go to your SD card where you can find the movies folder and then show. So actually, I'm going to show you that. So go to ES File Explorer. Open right up here. here. Go down to Porn Movies. Show. And there you go. So that's all you got to do, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And now I'm going to start talking about my tech channel. So what I would be doing with the tech channel is I would be reviewing tech. Huh, you didn't see that coming, did you? So I would be talking about upcoming, you know, smartphones, tablets, whatever. I would be talking, I would actually be showing, doing reviews as as many phones, tablets, or whatever I could get my hands on. At the You know, early, it's not going to be all that many, you know, I can review my phone. I'm ex I'm planning on reviewing the Nexus 7 because, you know, it's well-known, a lot more well-known than my phone is. So I think that'd be a good one to start off with. But I'm going to be reviewing as many as I can. I would also be, since I'm going to be dumping off the game chan gaming channel, I would have a little bit of gaming news on that. And I don't know if I said that before, but I'm going to be ending the gaming channel. It just hasn't, you know, been that great, honestly. it It's done okay. It's been pretty fun doing it, but honestly, it's just not really been all that great to do. So I'm going to replace the tech channel, and Minecraft Let's Plays will go over to this channel, even though I haven't done any yet on that one, uh, the gaming channel, which I was planning on doing it, but any Minecraft Let's Play and stuff would go over to this channel. Android tutorials like this would be on the tech channel, and then... um. When I was talking about earlier with the gaming stuff, I would be doing a little bit of gaming-related news and whatever on the gaming channel, and I'd also be reviewing things like uh, PC graphics cards and you know processors, whatever, just different CPUs or uh, computer parts that are, you know gaming-related. It'll be just all tech, as much tech things as I can do. Tech news, upcoming tech, whatever. And I would be on camera. It would be I would actually use a camera to record these videos instead of using a screen recorder like this. So I want to hear what your guys' feedback is on this one. It's something I've really been considering for a long time, and I really want to know what you guys think on it. So leave a comment down below. I'm you know really excited to see your responses. You know, good, bad. You know, keep the gaming channel or go with the tech channel or drop both. So just leave a comment down below. I. Really looking forward to reading them. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.